Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Hit or Miss Hallmark Movie Reviews. Countdown to Christmas <laughs> continues. Not for much longer. Yes, we finally have our first Hanukkah movie. Yay! I've been excited for this one. I love a good time loop theme movie. From the previews, it looked like a lot of fun. The Hanukkah movies really come out swinging usually because, yeah. you know, each year there's only one or two of them. Yeah. But boy, oh boy, did this one swing hard. Spoiler alert. Instant classic. Are you dork positive? I am positively dork positive. Nice. Are you dork positive? Well, clearly. What do you mean clearly? Boom ching. Today we are reviewing round, round and, and round. round and round and round. Starring Vic Michaelis and Brian Greenberg, and of course Miss Sass herself, Paula Shaw. Always fun seeing her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the writer here is Tamar Lady. Some other credits include Crashing Through the Snow and no other Hallmark credits, but she is credited for like uh, Pretty Little Liars, Heart of Dixie, oh, yeah, TV yeah. shows, yeah. Uh, and the director here is Stacey Ann Harding. Mm -hmm. Some other credits include Hearts in the Game, A Lot Like Christmas, and Christmas Sale. Some pretty good ones there. Definitely. Yeah. So, what's this one about? Rachel's stuck in a time loop, reliving the night of her parents' Hanukkah party. Can Zach, the nice boy Grandma's trying to set her up with, help her make it to tomorrow? And tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. <laughs> so, what do we think? Oh, you know, I freaking loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I right. love this one. Done, we're done. Yeah, done. Review done. You know, a magical time looping dreidel that only activates in the presence of your soulmate and then lasts for seven days and then you got to put in the work for the last day, the eighth day of Hanukkah. I mean, come on. It was such a fun, fresh and creative concept. I loved it. I loved this movie. Yeah, me too. Very much. <laughs> yeah, the, the minute I knew we were getting like a, a Groundhog Day-esque time loop, I was sucked right in. Um, yeah. In fact, there were direct references to Groundhog Day and Palm Springs and The Edge of Tomorrow, as you pointed out. Um, and I said this before, but I, I love when good pop culture references show up in Hallmark movies because it makes makes it so much more relatable. For us, especially if it's from a certain time and we're familiar with it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we also can't overlook the like Inception-esque reference of the powerful time dreidel. <laughs> Yeah, I thought oh that was God. kind of and fun. The ending, of yeah, the inception <laughs> with the whole did that's, it fall? That's what made me think. Yeah, um, I'm also surprised that the Groundhog Day trope hasn't been used more often. It's a fun little plot vehicle. Well done, Harold Ramos. Yeah. <laughs> The fact that this movie was so self-aware about what it was just made it even better, because I love that. And also, spoiler alert, but the yeah. twists in this were mostly unpredictable, I think. I mean, I'm bad at predicting anyway, but every <laughs> member of the family has gone through this time loop, which I think is like a fascinating twist. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. And the fact that Zach was allowed to remember everything that they had been through at the end was different, and I think it was the only real viable use of flashback to a scene that exists. Otherwise, flashback I don't think really works ever. It's kind of cheesy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But it worked here, and I liked it. Um, also, the supporting cast, everyone was just fantastic. They all held their own. Yeah. They elevated the story, and each brought their own energy to the screen. Yeah. Everyone was funny and interesting, from the nerdy comic book store owners yeah. and his young genius intern. I love that guy. <laughs> to the Jewish lady in the bakery who couldn't mind her own business. Yeah. Uh, to the annoying cousin from London who turns out to have a hardcore Queen's <laughs> accent. Everyone was great. Fantastic, yeah. This was just a wonderful combo of nerdy, sweet, romantic, Hanukkah fun, you know, like, you know, I know there's like some criticisms out there that Hallmark Hanukkah movies aren't really about Hanukkah and it's kind of like Christmas, just throw in some Jewish people or just some Hanukkah on top of all the Christmas. Whether it's accurate or not, I have no idea. Well, none of these but movies are really about it. It's their their no, romances at the time of a holiday, that's all it is. I've just read some criticism <laughs> online about the Hanukkah yeah, movies. I get it. These, those criticisms may be valid, even in this one, but just purely based on filmmaking merits and story and performances, this was fun and great. Very much so. But man, how far does a Jewish grandmother have to go just so her granddaughter meets a nice Jewish boy? Well, yeah, I have some questions about that, actually. Yeah. I was gonna ask after, but. 
I'm a little unsure. Did you feel like they took a bit too long setting up the beginning before the loops started? I did find myself, like, to myself saying, I wonder when they're gonna start the loop. Like, it took about 20 minutes, because I went back, and it took about 20 minutes for them to get into the loop, which isn't bad, it just felt a little long. I didn't at all, and actually, I didn't okay. watch any of the promos, so I had no idea about the time loop, and I was already oh, thoroughly okay. enjoying the movie before that happened, and I was like, oh, is that this one? <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah. And, okay, so another thing I'm unclear about, what exactly stopped the loop here? Was it just that, you know, seven days were up? Her writing her own book instead of, you know, being an editor and actually becoming a writer? Her kissing Zach? The donuts not falling? Was it all of I, it? I think or? it was all of it, but okay. I have more questions, like, how much of it was actually a setup? Like, Grandma already seemed to know Zach. So is this loop just a devious way to get her granddaughter to fall in love with whom they choose? Or Interesting. Like, did Uncle Harvey do the same thing to, uh, to Stan all those years ago when he dragged him to the party after being dumped? Mm. Uh, and also, I had to laugh that they named his brother Harvey because, like, his cohort in uh, Suits was Harvey. Harvey, yeah. Harvey Specter, yeah. <laughs> On that note, why don't we get to the performances? As we said, everyone here is great, like really, truly fantastic. There were no diminished supporting cast members here, but the standout for me, I think, is Vic. I loved her. <laughs> How have I never seen her before? She has quite the online fandom, I must say. Like, mm. a lot of people love her. She's been on Comedy Bang Bang and College Humor. Both shows, like, I really, really like. I mean, it's so dumb and funny. It's just, it's hilarious, so I love it. And it shows that she's been on those because she herself is very hilarious. I laughed so loud at that one scene in the bar <laughs> where she confronts her boyfriend. It was so funny and awkward. We have to show it. Like, we have to show it. <laughs> Yeah, it's you. <laughs> what? Yeah. It was just so over the top. It was brilliant. Yeah, um, she was great. And I always thought, I couldn't help but think she has the charisma and personality of like Emma Stone. Yeah, sort of. I thought, in a way. I, I thought She's that. a little more like kind of awkward and bumbly, which works for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I love her. She's my standout. Love her. And I need to shout out Rick Hoffman. Here. Oh, for sure. The way he delivers his lines, it's its so unique. It's kind of like just under the radar, just under the breath, and before <laughs> you actually realize what he's actually saying. <clears throat> I love you, Alaka. Hilarious, right? I have some notes. Notes? Uh, it's just so matter of fact and dry in a comedic way. It's great. He was hes was great as the dad in this. Oh, Love for sure. He, I mean, he's a great actor, and he was very yeah. funny in Suits. Like, <laughs> and so he's a seasoned actor yeah. and a comedic actor. Yeah, yeah. And I loved him in the Hallmark world. I would love to see him love again. Love to see him again, for sure. <laughs> um, for sure. And I had to shout out Brian Greenberg. I, I thought yeah. he was like the perfect hunky nerd. Yeah. Uh, very like Channing Tatum-esque. Yeah, for yeah. Some reason I can see that. Of, but yeah, it, I can see He that. worked perfectly. Um, I also want to shout out the comic book store guys. Lots of shout outs. Uh, <laughs> Seth, yeah. Seth played by Amitai Mammerstein, which is like the most Jewish That's name I've ever heard in my name. life. That's a great name. Um, uh, and Nico Del Rio, who played Andy. Um, I love him. I love those characters. But I love that he consulted with Andy about like the most like scientific, sci like nerdy math. I didn't know things. that there was there was like math equations to to know how long Bill Murray was in Groundhog Day. I think like twelve thousand days or something. Yeah, because like, he learned how to play piano. He learned a language. He learned like everything. Like there's some online threads about some really it. There's really cool nerdy stuff in there. Yeah, people look really into. Anyways, that. <laughs> but my standard is also Vic Michaelis. Yeah. Um, I've seen her in her college humor stuff, and she's very funny. Oh, cool. She's a very funny girl. Um, but I thought she did a great job as like the bumbly, quirky lead here. Yeah. Um, Fantastic. And yeah, the scene where she tracks down her boyfriend at the bar. And, oh, it's so it, you know what? It just caught me so off guard. I was like, wait, did she? Is that how she did that? Oh my god. But it's so true. You know when you like go up to people and you're just like, ah! like yeah, it's, it was fun. It was so funny. Well, let's head on to no. Hit Picky, Hit Picky. Uh, let's just get that out of here. I don't have any minutes. Neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> um, hit the 80s soundtrack throughout the whole movie. Yeah. So when the movie opened up with I Melt With You, I knew we were in for something different. Yeah, I, I thought that it. was cool. I was, I was I was, almost sure we were going to hear You Spin Me Right, uh, right Round, Baby. It's like, how many times is that song Maybe used? two it's on probably, the nose. Yeah, I guess. But like, you know, <laughs> I think that's why they had the, the 80s soundtrack, to kind of make you think of that. I loved it. I loved it. Hit. Hit. The Christmas guitar playing interlude guy that was playing 
bring the Hanukkah song? Great. Do you know what I thought? <laughs> it's a little, I thought good she, little vehicle in the, in the story. Definitely, yeah. because you kind of, you always see that, like, minor background character be the source of the time loop, yeah. or the cause of the time loop, you know what he I mean? He was the constant, which was the interesting yeah. thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. See, I'm trying to work here. Look, that's your dance space. This is my dance space. Okay. And I love that they made him Christmas, and he's singing a Hanukkah song. It's just like, oh, this is everybody's holding hands. It's good. Yeah. Uh, hit. I love, love, loved the script workshop scene in the comic book store. Oh, for her book. Oh my God. Oh, right. You know what? Just, well, is it even a twist at that point? Well, nobody knows. This, we just gotta go for it. Oh, yeah. This. Okay. Where, where are they? Write her book in a night. Needs more momentum here. Needs more energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that might be one of my favorite that scenes a in scene. a Hallmark movie ever. Actually, that was a really because great then scene. it led to another hit. Which is all the pop culture nerd references definitely, definitely. that were like so on point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like Star Wars. I love that Rachel referenced Edge of Tomorrow <laughs> before Groundhog Day. I was like, oh my god, that's actually my uh, you know, that's really the only other timeline movie that does that. Yeah. But none were better than this one. It's uh, something that could work. What? 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 Okay. Have you have you tried uh, taking a jump to the left? And then you put your hands on your hips. <clears throat> you bring your knees in tight. Time warp? Is the time warp? <laughs> yeah. Is this a joke? It is. That's right. That's the second Rocky Horror Picture Show quote this season alone. The second one. Our homework slowly getting people ready for trans stories. No. I think there's <laughs> quite probably, a few years. I'd probably that give them another ten years, considering yeah. we just had the first gay ones last year. And there was also a gay couple in here too. This yeah, one of had everything pretty oh, yeah. much. Yeah. Um, hit net. I don't know what this is. I was trying to figure out what band that was on the poster. The poster of the band on our wall. Yeah. I'm almost we positive don't know that. that was AI art because it was like either News probably. One or News. Zone, but I looked them up and they're not a thing. So. No, and that's funny. Oh, that, that is funny. funny. Yeah. Why don't we get to the list? Well, what kind this of list? is the this is the Hanukkah list. We have a different it's list a for shorter. Hanukkah movies. Well, let's bring it down and see. Yeah. How it did. Okay, lighting the menorah. Of course. Yes. Hanukkah confusion. Yes. Uh, a Hanukkah party. Definitely. Yes. Reference to a dreidel. The dreidel. The time loop dreidel. I mean, it's all it's about the, the dreidel. The whole thing. Yeah. Hanukkah in the title. No. Negatory. Uh, Hanukkah song or prayer? Yes. The Ooh. Hanukkah blessing it prayer. Was the Hanukkah blessing. I don't know if that actually has a specific name. I don't think so either. But they um, but they read it. Not they didn't I'm sure read it. I'm sure it does. It probably has like a Hebrew name or something. Maybe I'm assuming. Maybe I don't know. Latkes. <laughs> They Definitely. Did. And he had that apron. Jelly donuts. <laughs> and jelly donuts. Is that a thing? Yeah, I guess fried things are a thing. They looked amazing, by the way. They did. I oh my gosh. But like, yeah. Uh, and finally, a Hanukkah miracle or Hanukkah magic? Definitely. Absolutely. All magic. Hanukkah magic. Funny. <laughs> like great performances. Great story. A fresh, creative idea. Loved it. Seven. Seven out of eight. That's actually. That's excellent. That's yeah, excellent. Yeah, considering we just made this list. Um, all right, well, why don't we bring up the Hanukkah menorah? This is in the spirit of Hanukkah, and it is Hanukkah right now. Isn't it? You know, this is just for fun, you know. <laughs> well, um. I. Uh... Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I am going to give round and round seven candles on the menorah. Beautiful, that's a good score. That's Excellent a, score. That rounds out to about 11, right? I think so, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also based on my Hanukkah on Rise score, mm -hmm. I'm going to give round and round nine candles. Perfect. Another a perfect, perfect one. Yeah. Wow. Quite honestly, I don't. I, I did really enjoy Hanukkah on Rye, but this this one might be. This was better for me. It, it kind of doesn't. It's not as fair to only give it a score out of nine because this one might be the year's Ghost of Christmas Always. Wow, that's saying a lot. It is. Because that one was magical and amazing. I loved that one. Yeah. I liked. I definitely preferred this over Hanukkah on Rye. Uh, I just thought yeah. the idea was a, was more creative. The performances oh, were better. The this writing is was strong. One of the best, if not the best. And we've also seen this all one, year. yeah, the, it is definitely one of the best for sure. This one, like, it reminded me of like the Santa Summit, where like the supporting cast was just amazing. It and was the so, Jewish Santa Summit. Well, I guess, I guess so. But if you enjoyed Santa <laughs> Summit, you would love this one. If you enjoyed a Holiday Hotline, like the fun yeah, the and fun, like the fun movies that still have the romance are definitely yeah. nailing it this year. It's just fun. It but let us know what you thought. Yes, let us know in the comments below. What would you rate it on our Hanukkah, uh, Hanukkah meter? Hanukkah menorah meter, I guess. Um, yeah. 
And, we'll, and yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And there's only a few more days left of Countdown to Christmas. I can't believe we're, we're in the tail end of it, for yeah, sure. Baby. But we will be back with the last few reviews mm -hmm. very soon. Until next episode. Bye. Bye.